ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Farmville. I'm going to try and upload more than one channel a week here on this, uh, on here. So, this is something we haven't used in a while. And then we have a new toy, actually. New toy is pretty heavy as well, so. We're going to drag it over here. And we're going to fire up this auger. We are going to Holy Grain. As you can see, our finances. I did sit and go over quite a few in the last little while. So this 200,000 is also getting hauled out at some point. Uh, we're going to sit and haul out the corn out of this other less lesser bin, I guess. Where is it up about there? should be. Oh, why is it? The wheels on this thing kind of get stuck sometimes, so I'm going to have to... There we go, that's about good. I'm going to have to raise it low. Change the head. And we'll get the semi fired up. It rained a little bit this morning, otherwise we would be harvesting. And we might harvest a little tonight, kind of get everything set up. I got some of my uh, kids in the shop last night, and they decided that they were going to actually work. Oh, pulled in a little too far over. So, we'll hold 1,100 in there. 1,100 bushels. And we have in total 10,000, so 10 truckloads and roughly one out of the little bin of soybeans. Um, the highest price right now is actually dropping. I'm not sure where it is that right now. Oh, right in there at the mill. Uh, we'll end up going there with some of it. This is where I have it contracted. So, at $25 a bushel right now. So it holds, I believe, 11.5, and we did all of our finances, as you see. So we'll go take a look at the other farm. I do not have it finalized, but we're going to get that finalized today, hopefully. And, well, we're not going to do anything yet. I sold the pig in the barn over there, and the feed trailer, now the co-op owns it, along with the semi. So, I don't know if we're going to see that much anymore since it isn't ours and we aren't using it anymore. However, I do need to get a feed truck now, or a feed vehicle. And you might be able to see there, I did buy a new toy, another one. That is a pulling truck a buddy of mine that was selling, so I decided to buy it. So now we have a pulling truck for the summer. And I'm hoping to get, there's, the dealer has an old F-Series from 1981 for sale that I'm looking at and hoping to get, however, I don't know if it's within my current budget for a new truck, a new, like, uh, vehicle. 
so we might also have to take a loan out from the bank, but I'm hoping we can get some money from this. Because I had to uh, do all the financing on what we all bought, so I had the money right up in the top right corner, and we spent almost a million dollars on um, vehicles for the new farm, and some of them aren't, some things aren't purchased yet, so I got to kind of keep it a little bit easy for now, however... Once we get that up and running, I can do a little bit more. So. I'm hoping that we can get that going next spring when we have some, um, some actual, like, crop or not crop, but some actual uh, silage or food for the cows to eat. I want to see what we get from a truckload, and then we're going to either time lapse or cut and haul almost all the loads. From the front hopper, almost 18,000, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that, if we can get 1702. We are hauling, I believe, 5,000, roughly. So about five, four or five uh, truckloads in here. Oh, it went down eight. Oh, did it go up? No, it definitely didn't go up. So we're going to check here with that. It will. Yeah, it's going down. Pretty rapidly. If it drops below this, the feed mill, I might be able to just sell it there. So, we'll see. Alright guys, I'll see you guys once we're back in this spot in a little while. Okay guys, so we are just finishing emptying the uh, second to last load. We do have a gravity wagon full that my kids uh, kind of scraped around. We have the rest of it, we're going to haul in that gravity wagon then, and after all of that, we will start hauling beans, and then I'll kind of show you around the new area, and we might stuff, well, we might not haul in beans today, I might set up the auger to load in the bin because beans are not yet very good however we are we did finalize what the uh, new farm has for equipment we're gonna run over there after we drop the uh, gravity wagon back off here at the farm And then I'll show you our kind of little setup. It was like 1.5 million. We have a hundred thousand dollar loan currently, and that is with the money on the top right. I could pay it off, 
However, there's stuff I'm sure I'm gonna have to buy yet. And that is why we have it. For right now, especially. We can probably get this pretty much set up right away. Shouldn't have to lower it or anything, just... I'll try and pull off kinda to the side again, like how I did last time. When we dumped into this bin. I believe we were... Something like this. Oh, that's not the direction I wanted the auger to go. Something like... That. Oh, not quite. So pretty much back straight from here and lower it in. However, we're gonna close that one, I believe. We will open that one. Pull this truck ahead. To fill that second wagon. Uh, I don't have to pull forward slightly. I'm going to try and get it a little more centered there. So that good there. And then we are also empty now in that bin. So we'll get on the road here. You see our pulling truck there, old Dodge. Oh, can't wait to use that thing or play around with it. Really a couple of my buddies. I have been thinking about getting a new Kenworth truck for the farm, uh, W900, so this might not be the truck for too much longer, but we might keep it around to like, for maybe like a sprayer trailer <coughs> of, of some kind, so. Or maybe I can get a uh, tank. So, we left the manure pit there. It is full yet, or somewhat full. So we'll have to keep hauling that out. Another reason we kept it is we are planning on hooking up a cow barn in the, a similar area. More of like a uh, breeding kind of cow barn. Like, we transfer the uh, pregnant ones from our big operation down to the smaller one, and that's where we store them until they have babies. Then we bring them out a month into that, we'll bring them back up to the other farm, and they can continue their eating. I'll show you quick where we have been hauling. Instead of straight ahead, we're hauling there. So it's a little tighter with this trailer since it's a bit long. Oh, we have a trailer. So we have been making about 
30,000 to load. So that's pretty good. It's about 16, 17 for Hopper. Plus what we will get in the future for uh, clean kernels. Get the front hopper. Um, there's the first one, and there's the second one. We'll stop there. Yeah, kind of favor the right side, although you don't want to get too close. So, well, that's a tight, tight squeeze there. Just barely make it. So, uh, you to do. What was I gonna look at? It? So, I think the price went down here. No, it's still going up. It was, it did go down. That's right here. This is where we were going. This is the feed mill. The feed mill's got a not too high of a price. But we are out of corn and beans. Holy crap. That's selling right here for a good price, too. $64 a bushel. No, uh, wait, I think it goes up, you know, if I look at, uh, around June, February, it starts to go up, but in June, it peaks at well over 100, so we'll keep beans in our bin for a while, I don't know what, so actually, we sold at the lowest time, which is, not ideal, however, I needed to get it out of our bin, so it's not too low. The highest is only over 50, so I mean, it's not a horrible amount, but I probably could have made almost a hundred thousand more. So I haven't fully finished my contracted grain. That's what that other gravity wagon is. That's the last of the contracted stuff uh, for corn. And then we fully did everything for contracts. So then we'll have our contracts all paid or all of that done. And then We'll get our crop guys out here to see what we need for planting next year. And that is going to either be in beans or maybe like an alfalfa. I haven't driven this thing too often, so... Ooh, that was a bad turn. This wagon does pull pretty nice, actually. Especially when loaded, it pulls really nice. And I mean, I can tell that there's weight back there, so... It's not like you can't feel it. I mean, it's not the most amount of weight. 
I've pulled with this truck, so. This thing also has pretty good brakes yet. So. The factory is on almost 45, pretty much 45 without a wobble. Apparently the head up. I don't think I'm going to slow down for that. So that'll dump both. However, I think if I, I could just choose, I, I'm able to just choose one. That tips way slower. So I haven't really used this wagon before, so that's why I'm experimenting with it. So we'll unload this. Head back up to the farm and well drop it off and we'll go. This should rake in pretty good amount. Total I can check our income for this year's harvest. We have a lot of like down, like not great. So our Harvest income this year, or this month or other, is almost a quarter million dollars. No cheating, that is about what we have. Oh, my controller just died, guys. That's not good. I'm going to have to do the rest of this video here on keyboard. So, so we'll head back up to the farm here, and then I guess we'll show you around the other uh, lot. Ooh, steering. I haven't really used a... Uh, anything like this in a while so this is a bit strange ooh steering so bad all right so we'll get to the farm here might take a little bit however we'll get there I really hate this keyboard steering. I have it set up for my uh, controller, so it is awful on keyboard. It is super slow. And it's more like a tappy motion.
So. I'll unhook it right here. Really not used to this. Ooh. I know I do record these videos on PC, so I should know how to drive with a keyboard. However, the only I have never had one die during a recording, so is a bit strange. I'll end up having to figure it all out. Oh god, really can't do much. Excuse my driving. I really haven't done much. I'm gonna have to change a setting here real quick. I have my steering speed turned way down. Where is it? It's up here. Uh, steering sensitivity. I think 100% should do me a bit better. Oh, that is way nicer. So we'll get up here to the to our uh, building. There you can see it. Oh, that's not what I wanted. So we're going to pull up right here. Forget what the... Guys, I'm sorry about this. I have not used this in a long time. So I'm just going to hop out real quick. And then we'll... So here we have our Jaguar 960. It's got the US paints, paint scheme here on the header. Here we have a Massey Ferguson 8S 305 Dyna VT. Then we have an older 7330. And oh, I'm running into one of my big, biggest tractors. Then we have an 8110. And then we have our newest purchase, a 9R, a 640 with a Carl Farms or KF manufacturing uh, blade, dozer blade. And then we have three uh, Meyer RTX uh, from 26 or 26 foot. I think they're from. 2021. Okay, guys, so we're gonna head back to the farm here, and I did get batteries in my controller to work, so if they do stop again, I might have to call it. However, now I'm gonna have to change my settings back to what they were because now it's gonna be impossible for me to drive. There we go, that's a bit better. So we're gonna start harvest. I know this video is a bit longer. I'm gonna see if I can cut some out and whatnot. But we're gonna get home. Um, we're gonna try and maybe I can finish soybeans. There's not too much to do. I have two fields. We're gonna start real close to home here actually hook on to this wagon so we have an extra thing to dump into if we need it. So we'll bring this over here. I wouldn't imagine it's going to yield too great. Actually, oops, I didn't mean to 
do that. I meant to hop out. This thing, however, will need to probably sit on the diesel pump for a little while because it is diesel. And it's getting about half a tank. So we're going to pull it around over here. Right there. That's going to take a good little while to do. I'm um, going to get my little UTV here. Haven't rode in this thing in a while. I'm not sure if this is, I don't think that this is the biggest header Honeybee makes. However, it's, I think, the second biggest header that you can get in this. Nope, it is the biggest. So, we have a pipe and everything that's big enough for it, so I guess we're going to use it. I'm going to shut this off before we run it out of fuel. So we're going to see what we can get for yield. We have everything inside the combine switched over. However, I got to get the head on it yet. And then I'll do a time lapse and we can Hopefully get this one field done. But I'd like to get a little bit before we get too far along. And we also have to go um, throw up our straw from the field over there. Unfold the header here. So we're going about six, which I think is good, because we're going to fill this thing up really quick. I doubt we'll even be able to make it all the way around the field. So we're going to time lapse this and see you guys once we're, I guess, closer to done. Well, see you guys in just a minute.
Alright guys, so that'll be it for today. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. My goal on subs is 200 in the first year. And that's two months from now is the official first year of my channel. So I hope you guys can hit that goal. We are on pace to do it next month. So I hope you guys can hit that. That would be amazing. So if you guys do enjoy the content and are not subscribed, which I know a lot of people aren't, Please consider subscribing. And thanks guys. Bye for now.